the Roush Fenway Fords having issues early. That is Greg Biffle. Steve. And Mike, he says he's having electrical issues. They're going to change out their box on the first pit stop. Greg said, I'm not going to put up with this all night. Change the box. Greg Biffle soldiering on in 29th, uh, or excuse me, yeah, 29th spot for Biffle. Kind of well deep in the field. Here's what he had to say. And you want some ice or a water or anything? Yeah, something. Burning hot air blowing in your face. All right, in the side of your head. Got, got a bag of ice and water coming at you. Bag of ice and water on a pole. And on the last pit stop, they wanted to switch out the cool box. There it is to the left of your screen. They had to take it out of the backup car. It wasn't down here in time. They gave him a new hose that comes out of the helmet, hoping that might be the problem. There you see David Stremme. He went out of the race early in standby just in case Greg Biffle gets too overheated. Well, Mike, the cool box saga continues for the 16 and Greg Biffle. They wanted to change it on that last caution, but in fact, they decided to change hoses. Problem is, they didn't tell Greg what the plan was. How stupid are we? I don't even know what you're doing. You guys are something else. I mean, unbelievable. Unbelievable. Greg, they had to look in there and see if that damn hose was going to be long enough to get from your helmet to the corner window. How about you just fill me in with what they're going to do? How about that? So I'm not in here wondering. That's all I'm asking. Just fill me in on the plan. I don't know the plan. Now, pit road was closed. However, Greg Biffle came down anyway. I wonder if that's still that driver cooling issue that they're wrestling with.